couple of weeks ago, I was invited to speak at Notion's first community event about how I use Notion as my digital brain. I've created digital spaces that help me be more creative, compound knowledge, make better decisions, be more self-aware, think better, and a lot of other super useful things. I believe good ideas should be shared. So I'm making a series of videos of how I use Notion to elevate my thinking and how you can too. I'll provide links to templates you can use. In this one, I'll go over some of these digital spaces in the order that I use them throughout my week. This is my home space. I have a quote that reminds me how I want to navigate the world, a section that helps me visualize actions to do and projects, and it gives me access to all these digital spaces, like my topics forest. This is where I store the best ideas I find. They come from various sources like articles, videos, conversations, and books. I organize them by topic in trees of knowledge. I basically use Notion as my digital brain, so let's go into that note as an example of what these trees look like. In these pages, I store the actual quotes and ideas, not just links. And if the tree becomes too big or it's clear that there are subtopics, I create a new one and sometimes I do have source and then I link to the source article. This topics forest saves me a lot of time when writing, thinking, or referencing, and it's great for seeing connections between ideas, which is the basis for creativity. Also love seeing it compound. I add things throughout my day, but I begin and end my day with my three minute journal. I access this page in my phone, and in the morning I click add a new great day, and it's a template of prompts that I created. So I answer, what did I dream? Because I'm trying to get better at lucid dreaming. Three things I'm grateful for. Something I'm looking forward to for the day. What under my control will make today even more great. An idea for an experiment to run. If I lived even more consciously, freely, and courageously, I would. I am is an affirmation, something I want to become or I am becoming. And finish with the most important thing to focus on. So I can continue thinking about that. And then at night, before going to bed, I also answer what were the three wins for the day. One thing I learned, and whether it's a breakthrough realization, and this is another page where I store ideas that I think can be breakthrough if applied in my life or shared with others. And what is one thing I could have done to make today better? And how can I apply it tomorrow? Am I resisting something? The intention is to not resist things. And then favorite thing of my day, Short story of a moment today. This one's really nice because I do only one sentence or two, but it makes small moments meaningful. Then an experiment or hypothesis from today, like what happened, what could I do tomorrow that is high leverage, and then a request for my subconscious mind to sleep on. For a while, I had been wanting to get into journaling, but it was too much work to do it consistently. It was hard to see the value. I didn't know what to do. The game changer was having the prompts in a template where I could quickly go through them and answer them. It gets me thinking about the things that I would want to be thinking about in the mood that I want. This is a reflection of the day, but I also have a reflection for the week. I do this on Sundays and I start first by looking at what I wrote the previous week and I do a reflection across the main dimensions of my life, I answer four simple questions. Then I do a couple more rituals within this ritual. One of them is passing my book notes to my book notes database because I just export my highlights once I'm done in Kindle or I actually mostly listen to my books. So I take notes on Apple notes and then just pass them here. And I can see what I've been reading, like when, and I can see them by topic and by a couple more views. I then pass the best ideas to my topics forest. I do a couple other things and I thank myself. One of the things is a systemic creativity temple where I click here, it's also a template and it gives me some prompts. So I first choose something to brainstorm about. If I don't have something, here are some questions that help me generate something to brainstorm about. And then I start listing ideas. Then I go through some constraints and some identities, things like, what would an artist do? What would an anthropologist do? What would an alien do? What would a caveman do? What would Elon Musk do? What would Marie Curie do? What would Lady Gaga do? What would I do if I were super angry? And then some situations and some other things. 
more prompts. This weekly ritual may seem like a lot, but it only takes me around 30 to 40 minutes and it's a great way to end and start my week. Hope this series inspires some good ideas. Let me know in the comments what you'd like for me to cover more in depth in the next videos. And subscribe to know when I share more ideas. Thank you.